Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have a little issue um, this is probably just gonna be a short video but I have this very nice uh, Lenovo Think Center M75Q generation 5 it's a brand new tiny PC uh, this is my work PC and um, uh, work has installed their lockdown version of our operating system on it and as I'm gonna be using this at home I don't want that so um, I need to get into this and they have it's Sunday and they have password protected the BIOS of it so I need to hack that I do believe I'm allowed that I did ask for them not to install anything but as when we get these from the from the supplier they have already installed what we want on them for normal use so I want it to be not normal use so we need to um, to uh, to hack it a little bit so I have already removed the little screw to take the back of it off so we can do that and the BIOS password is controlled by a jumper in the back here it's uh, which way back there down here is the tiniest little jumper and it um, the pins are numbered so this is pin number one two three four five and six so the jumper is default in the five six position and they do also give us a little bit of help uh, down in the other corner of the of the PC right there if you can see that that little jumper thing up there is called the JP35 indicator I don't know why it's called indicator it's uh, well never mind so we can see one to four come debug default five six switch clear CMOS two four and power button is uh, four six so we need to short two and four to clear the CMOS um, so we need to figure that out now this little label from the Wi-Fi antenna is really in the way I think we can get rid of it a little bit so default was five six so we need to put it into two four that means that the jumper needs to come up like that it needs to turn around and we need to put it in there that. and we need to turn the PC on for a little bit and it should give us an a beep 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 code at some point when it's um, when we are there I have prepared some power for it there so let's let's put power on And we should get some beep codes at some point. Is that enough? Let's guess that that is enough. So we can disconnect power again. There. And we can put the jumper back from two four two five six there and we can put the case on oh and i lost the screw already and i'll go and see if the password is gone to get into the bias of this system you have to press f1 at boot i'm gonna press some f1 over here <laughs> i have to be a bit quick about it and at some point something will come up on the monitor and if I have succeeded we shouldn't get a nasty password telling us that we have nothing to do here be awesome there you know if one yes yes and it did not work dang it okay so that did absolutely nothing good for us I tried again off screen um, no difference and I took the the NVMe thing out just to make sure that it wasn't something that came from here and we're gonna put that back in um 
I read online and some suggested to remove the little button battery, which is located right here underneath a piece of tape thing. So how is it that we remove that? I think it just goes that way. Big fat fingers. I forget. Ah, it comes up that way. Okay. It's out. So we're gonna put the jumper in the in that position that we like so much. And I'm just gonna short this out for a little bit. There, let's see what it says now. Connecting power. Any luck? Hmm. That was really dead. Do I need to power it? enough let's try and power it off again I'll just remove power there and we'll put the little button battery back in I'll even put the little tape thing on top of that it's very convenient that uh, you can't drop anything on, on top of it so and we'll put the little jumper back to position five six and I'll have a go at that and I have it sitting here we can try and power it on if I can hit the little button I could so let's see what comes up ah absolutely no difference yikes it's uh, it's not as if we can't go into the BIOS, it's just everything is then locked down. So if I wanted to boot from somewhere or something else, everything is grayed out. So I can't press anything and yeah, uh, so there is that security thing and that's supervisor password is installed. So uh, that's the thing that I need uh, to have removed. Hmm. Okay, I think I have to find myself outmaneuvered here. Uh, it seems like that you can't reset the um, supervisor password on these very easily. Uh, if you don't know the supervisor password, you're out of luck. I do have someone at work that does know the supervisor password, so I think I'll try my luck at work. But I have found that this little bastard here is the chip where the BIOS is located on and services are available and people do take this out online and um, put new firmware on it and they can then bypass the password that way so i think it's just a matter of time before you can uh, i've seen that you can buy flash kits for these so disorder it flash it and put it back in but it's it's more complicated than just flashing it but it needs to know the serial number of the pc and stuff so it's a bit more complicated than just moving a jumper so what I did uh, up here was I did reset the CMOS but the CMOS just didn't reset that password because that password is apparently set in that bastard little chip there. So ah, 
I did not expect that. I was so sure that I would be able to remove the the, the BIOS password of this. I didn't know that they had uh, well improved security. It's not an improvement, it's a tightening because uh, IBM did this back in the day as well. They had their laptops and you could actually put in a BIOS password that could not be removed. Except if you sorted out the chip and um, did some firmware ninja hacks. Back then you actually took the BIOS chip out and then you could read the BIOS chip, send the file to some guy and he would uh, decrypt the password and you would just have to sort of the chip back in and then use the password that you got from him with the... Oh, it's still a lot of work. On this one you need to um, to take the chip out and, and, and firmware updated beta version without the supervisor password and uh, serial number and crap. I don't know if they have like a checksum in the BIOS as well. That could make it very complicated. So yeah, unfortunately this is one of those videos where I didn't succeed. But if you have some ninja tricks on this model or similar model, I'm sure they do it on more models than just the M75Q generation 5, which is the one I have here. I think I forgot to say that. And uh, yeah, I would very much be interested in hearing if you've been able to do anything ninja hacking with this um, in the comments below. But, but thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.